Well, good morning, everybody, or evening, wherever you are, and uh, whatever time you're watching this. I uh, had a request uh, from a couple of viewers, actually, uh, about doing a few more uh, talking videos, if you want to call them that. So I'm going to attempt to do one here today. Uh, I have no objection to doing talking videos. I just, uh, it's hard for me to sit down in front of a camera and just talk if I don't have any solid subject matter. Uh, I know that there are a lot of YouTubers out there that are trying to put out a video every day or every other day or whatever. And uh, they end up with sometimes what I call some questionable content. Uh, people do like them, though, because they'll put out a video. Uh, you know, it might be something like, this is how I wash my shoe strings. And, uh, <laughs> you know, or this is how I stack my shoes. And uh, five or seven days later, they'll have 4,857 views. So I know that people like those. But I just, I don't see my day-to-day -day life as just being that exciting. If, if I go and do something, I record it. Uh, a lot of that being because uh, in the future, when I get to where I can't walk around, I'm hoping that all this YouTube uh, stuff will still be here. And it's sort of like a photo album to me or a, a diary or whatever that I can, uh, I, I believe I'll be able to look back on it and uh, uh, just like you would leaf through a photo album and say, oh, I remember that. And and so that's a lot of the reason I do it. Uh, I had, a, I put out a video about it being two years since I started living in my RV and uh, here comes an email every time you try to record something. Uh, one of my viewers, and I'm probably going to mess her name up, uh, uh, Pedasian or Pedassian Hippie, I had asked her before, several months ago, uh, how she came up with that name and what the meaning of it was and how it was pronounced, and I searched and searched and searched trying to find her answer, and I don't know if it was on one of my videos that I ask, or if it was on one of her videos, she has a channel if you want to check it out. Uh, but I couldn't find where she answered the question, and, and I forgot uh, which way it was that she said it. So maybe down here, if she watches this video, she'll let us all know again. Uh, it was something to do with uh, getting outside prison walls. Uh, or something like that. I even tried to look up the word and couldn't find it. So, but anyway, she had a uh, several questions that she was asking. She has a casita trailer that uh, I believe she's wanting to start spending a lot more time in. She's kind of hesitant about it, I think. But uh, she has questions from time to time, and I like to answer them. But she wrote a pretty long comment here at the end of that two-year video I did. And uh, I'm not that good at using uh, keyboards and typing and uh, all that stuff. So I thought, well, I'll just do a, a video and maybe I'll call it my first q and I've never done one of those. So anyway, let's uh, get started on this. She says, congratulations on your two-year anniversary. I really enjoyed this video. It was good to hear more of the backstory of how you got the RV and the work you've put into it. I know you have shown us around in it, but this gives a, a bit of a different side. And I was hoping to get some of that out there uh, of how I ended up doing this and everything. Uh, so that was, uh, of course, one big reason I made that video. And she goes on to say, someone else commented that they enjoyed a uh, day in the life of a pizza delivery driver. And uh, she says she agrees. 
and that those were good videos. I put out two of them uh, talking about pizza delivery and uh, I'm actually back doing pizza delivery right now. As soon as I got back from Florida, uh, I had a job again right away and that's something I like about the pizza delivery. I, I started there actually about two and a half years ago and uh, took off six months and went up to Iowa on a work camping job at Adventureland Park and I came back and immediately had a job. I was text uh, going through Nashville on the way back. Or, are you back yet? So uh, it's a job that's I know it's not glorious or anything else but uh, it's a job that you can leave and come back to. Uh, this of course you have to say if you're trying to do a good job and everything, I always show up for work on time, ready to go to work, so I never have worried about being employed. I've never had an issue with it. But anyway, I would do more videos about uh, daily life or whatever, but I just don't, I don't know how many times somebody would want to see me driving up and down the road delivering a pizza, and you know, it's sort of to me like uh, once you've seen that once, you've seen it all. Uh, I would have no objection to do it. If uh, people are interested in something like that, let me know in the comments because I can surely do it. It's not that big of an issue. Of course, I wouldn't want to show customers and all that with, with, without their permission anyway. Uh, I have no objection to doing these talking videos. Like I was saying, my life is sort of just like most people's. I get uh, I get up during the day and I have something for breakfast and then I go put in a few hours at work and uh, <laughs> you know come home in the evening and and uh, I'm watching some some show on TV or maybe I'll watch a movie on Amazon or or something like that. So uh, I don't know. I like I said, I've seen a lot of videos that. I probably just wouldn't have done them, but they got a lot of views, so I guess people uh, like some of these people's personality, and they don't care what the video is about. I watch uh, some people that do uh, talking videos quite a bit, and, and I enjoy them too, but uh, these people are traveling around more than me, and they're at a different location every a week or every four days or whatever and they can take their camera and pan around and and give a different view and I'm a little more uh, sedentary maybe if you want to call it that and I park in a place and I stay there for quite a while and I'm not constantly on the move and there's not a constant change but I was asked uh, when I'm making plans to go somewhere, uh, do I put anything in concrete or do I just have a vague idea? I'm going to say that being at the location is a vague idea, but I do plan on how I'm going to get there. Now, I've only taken two big trips since I've been in the RV one up to Iowa and one down to Tampa, Florida. But uh, I like to go on Google Earth and get an idea of the area. I'm going to look for uh, parks, like state parks that are in the area. I'm going to look for lakes because I like to get out in my kayak or canoe. Uh, and I'm going to research some of that before I go. And nextly, I'm going to research what route I'm going to take to a place. Uh, and I'm going to Google Earth stuff like that too. Uh, there's an app that you can get uh, called All Stays. Now they have several different apps, but I use the one that is uh, about Walmart. And uh, a lot of people you know are not so respectful of staying at Walmart for a night but I think it's great because uh, uh, it's free for one thing uh, there are Walmarts everywhere you're talking about a parking lot that's well lit 
you're usually going to have other people there doing the same thing you're doing. Uh, there's parking lot security at uh, most of them I've ever seen. So I'll try to sit down and figure out how many miles I'm going to make it in a day. And I'm going to try to get to the Walmart before dark. So I want to know from what time I leave in the morning, how far I'm going to get down the road, and then I'm going to research that Walmart. Uh, I may and probably will Google Earth at Walmart, and uh, uh, I'm going to read a review. Now, that all stays that you have on your telephone there. Of course, I guess you can get it on your laptop too, but uh, they have reviews on there that were given by people, and they will let you know in there that they tried to stop at that Walmart on some certain date, and they were denied uh, being able to stay. Uh, there are some Walmarts that have up signs that state that there is no overnight parking, but these people will let you know that they pulled in there and there were three or four other RVs and a couple of semi-trucks parked there and they parked with no issue. Uh, what I want to see though, because I don't want there being any big doubt or any hassle, I don't want to wake to, at three o'clock in the morning, hey, you've got to move. So what I do is try to find a Walmart where there will be three or four people that have said, walked in, asked if I could stay, and uh, was told no problem. Uh, they wanted me to park over by the, uh, uh, the plant section or over by the service station or whatever, so I complied and uh, had no issues. And so I'll look for a review like that. And I'll plan on staying in that Walmart uh, that night. That will be my goal for driving that day is making that city and that Walmart. And if I'm going to be out for two nights, then I would do that. Uh, on one trip, I stayed at a gambling, gambling casino. Those are good places to stay. So I planned on staying at that gambling casino. And then on the second night, I was going to stay at a Walmart. And then that third day, I would reach my destination. So I do plan out the route there. But the while I'm there is, I don't have any big plans for that. I'm going to just sort of flow, go with the flow. Uh, and uh, I'll plan that out once I get there. Once I look around and, and thoroughly see... Uh, what there is there that I might want to uh, go to or uh, or a place where I might want to fish and all that. Now, I do Google Earth, uh, like I said, the lakes and stuff to see what's going on uh, like that. She states here, uh, how could I plan to do something that I had no way of knowing if I could even do it? Now, that moves me into my next uh, subject. After buying my RV July 4th last year, I finally took my first camping trip in the last three days. I went with family, so it wasn't a true test, but I did all the critical things myself and had them double check me. I'm happy to say that it was a successful trip with no major problems. Hopefully it won't be another 10 months before I take it out again. Uh, I really don't know what it is that she's worried about. Uh, if you're out in an RV, you need to uh, just be able to know how everything in there works. And uh, you need to know how to uh, dump the, uh, the black water tank and the gray water tank and fill your water tank. And I, I just think there's no issue with it as long as uh, you familiarize yourself with those different few things and everything's working properly. Uh, I just don't see that there would be a real big issue with it. Uh, one thing I don't want to do is uh, get stuck in somewhere that I can't get in and out very well. Uh, in that video where I stopped at that McDonald's and was griping about the kiosk, I, I was actually driving down the road looking for some kind of mom and pop place because I had uh, 
I had it in my head that I wanted uh, some kind of good breakfast, uh, like a western omelet and some hash browns or something like that. And so when driving down the road, uh, I'm really trying to look at, when I see a place up there, I see a sign that says something about place to eat, then I'm really checking out how am I going to get in there and how am I going to get out. Now, the getting in part's easy, but there are a lot of places that you just don't have room to back uh, trailers up and all that kind of stuff. And, and I sure don't want to get caught in a parking lot when it's busy having to unhook stuff to get everything turned around. I think that's my biggest issue. So, uh, I stopped at that McDonald's because it was out in front of the shopping center area that had a big parking lot in the back. Uh, being able to get in somewhere, park, and then being able to get out easily is real important. And, and that's my biggest fear of being down in the middle of a city somewhere. And uh, there I am blocking traffic with people honking horns and uh, you know, people these days are out with their gun because <laughs> you're messing up their trip to the house. So uh, that's my biggest fear, and there's not really any big way of planning that out. You just have to keep your eyes and ears open. Uh, going through a city where there are a lot of lanes, uh, you have to really pay attention to what lane you're in and everything, uh, so that so that it's easier for you to flow and and take an exit and uh, stuff like that. So that's the biggest problem, I think. But uh, normally when I'm going somewhere, I'm taking back roads and stuff like that. So I'm not trying to do that interstate thing. You can't tell the difference between Florida and Michigan or Maine and California out on an interstate. They all look exactly the same. So I'm going to want to take the back roads and stuff. So getting caught in the city probably isn't too much of an issue. But uh, that's just the way I do it. So, on to the next subject. Just in closing here, I know you're going to be busy working a lot, but I would enjoy seeing just a talking video like this one whenever you feel like sharing with us. Did you ever make the trip to Norris? What this is is up in East Tennessee, and that's where she's from. There's a lake uh, up there called Norris. It's a, a dam on the Tennessee River, I believe. Uh, there was mention of going up there on a trip, and I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Uh, I had just mentioned it to her because uh, that's the area where she's from, and I thought maybe we would have a meetup or something. If I'm ever up in that area, I will try that. Uh, I don't know if that Norris Lake thing's coming down or not. So, uh, anyway, I have no issues with doing these talking videos and if any of you have any questions about anything I mean I'm not going to get way too personal here on a YouTube channel uh, I mean I'll just say up front I've been married a couple of times and I don't need to talk about it either of those and uh, I've never spent a night in jail so I can't tell you about prison <laughs> so, I mean there are some things that uh, I just don't get any into, but uh, any RV questions or anything like that or any questions about a town I've been in or any questions about where to go eat somewhere in a city or whatever, just uh, put it down here because I would love to do talking videos, but like I said earlier, it's a lot easier for me to do if I have some kind of uh, uh, subject matter or some questions to answer or something like that and uh, I do want to thank the viewers that uh, have hung with me in this little over a year uh, I know I haven't put out the best stuff but I've got three or four of you that are real solid and uh, are always commenting and asking questions and please continue on because I would love to answer any questions that you might have and so I guess this is going to do this for today I do have some videos coming up. I'm going to do uh, some camping trips and uh, 
do a little bit of wading up and down some rivers and some kayaking so just stay tuned there will be some stuff coming up and uh, thanks for your questions and uh, I hope you enjoy this video